All righty, so it is, uh, boy, we're coming up on the holidays really fast, and so um, so I'm just going to highlight th- just three activities uh, to consider. I think most of us understand some of the basics, the, the pop buys and, and so forth, but just, you know, three activities to, that you can focus on, show some appreciation, and really uh, build some goodwill with your clients. Number one, let's just talk about Thanksgiving. I'm a big, uh, well, I'm a big fan of eating uh, pumpkin pie. Uh, But Costco, everybody knows this. Uh, Costco's got the most amazing deal on pumpkin pies. And I know a lot of agents do this. and, And I've never come across an agent that has done a pumpkin pie giveaway and regretted it and right. didn't have huge results. And so what a lot of agents do is, you know, they identify through their list who they want to invite. Uh, and this is an event. You know, you can do it at your office. It could be during the evening. It could be on the weekends. It could be at your house. It could, You could do it in a variety of different places. But, you know, but create like an open house uh, setting where the people in your database uh, can come by for a free pumpkin pie. Um, so, and I, and I love the open house setting. You can also do deliveries and, and, and if that's what you want to do. I also love the turkey delivery. I love taking my, my top people and driving by and, but you got to give them a warning. You know, yeah, you got to give definitely. them a heads up because they don't, want two tur- they don't want two turkeys, yeah. right? Well, well, I'll take two. I, don't know, I'll say I need yeah. two turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, deep fry one and smoke the other. Oh, well, there you go. Deep fry and smoke, actually. <laughs> uh, but, you know, identify your top people, do a turkey uh, delivery. And uh, there's a typo there, shoot. But if they are not interested in it... Um, Ask them, do you know anyone? Are there any oh, family members uh, in your sphere uh, that, you know, maybe coming up on hard times could really benefit from having a turkey? Um, and take your people with you. If you're going to deliver yeah. some turkeys to, to families in need, maybe take some of your sphere of influence with you on these deliveries. Absolutely. You know, <clears throat> the Thanksgiving thing has always been a good thing. It's always been a good time to thank your clientele and your friends and your family just for being in your life um i'm gonna pull a trump card out not oh boy we gotta even change that from poker but you know i and say to everybody you know this is one of those times of year that more people commit suicide than any other time of year because this is the family values Mm -hmm. couple of months a quarter if you would um, and so I'm going to just alert us to this. I do this every year, um, is just say to people, if you know, or not say, but if you notice all of a sudden somebody's just not there, they're always there, but then they're not there. Uh, kind of like that Mel Gibson movie. I think it was called What Women Want or something like that. But the point that I'm trying to make is, is their absence, if you can identify that somebody's missing, that's kind of, you know, your... The, your instruction to go give them a call and, and just make sure they're okay and see if something's going on in their life. Uh, but to the, all of this, Mike, you and I for decades now have been talking about coming from contribution, really uh, a cause marketing. Um, and so, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure what two and three are, so I'm going to kind of leave it alone at that one. But I'm just going to say to the Thanksgiving thing, this is a great time to give thanks. Yeah. Period. End of story. Yeah, Nick, I, I think it's a, important for our regular listeners to understand that, um, you know, we're in need, too. So <laughs> they, they uh, I mean, I'll take a turkey and, and, a, and, a, and a pumpkin pie from one of our incredible agents that tune in every I'm single sure week. I'm sure that you would. I'm sure that you would. But this is the time <laughs> of year. I also do lobster tails. Perfect. This is the time. And crab, crab legs. legs. This, is the, this is the time of year that we give to those that are in need in Mikey, not are in surplus. Right. So, but this is a fantastic, I mean, this is, everyone's going to be thinking about it. Very little are going to actually do it. It's just time to put rubber to the road, pick up the phone, yeah. stop by, have conversations, touch base with all of your sphere of influence. Everybody is super busy. Everybody's stressed out. Todd's point is 100%. Reach out and start talking to people. You know, I just want to let everybody know, Mike and I would never suggest that you, you know, spend hundreds into thousands potentially of dollars to give pies or turkeys to every single person you know. That's not the point. Going back to what Mike and I have always taught also is you pick your ambassadors of the people that are in your world. You pick the people that are most likely... I hate to say it this way, but it's true. Most likely to give you a return on your investment to that that are going to refer you potential business or the people that already are. You know, those are the people that you treat 
more special. Yeah, and, and, and your past clients. Right. If you've put somebody into a home this yeah. year, um, you yeah. should be doing something nice for them. All right, uh, so let's talk about Christmas. Uh, I love, you know, Christmas time we do a lot of cause-driven events, whether it's going to a homeless shelter, uh, a soup kitchen. Um, I do a lot of things over at, you know, with some of the domestic violence shelters uh, that I work yeah, with. Our team is house. actually doing a, uh, a cost-driven event at Sojourner in oh. December where we're showing up with Ron Quain's big giant grill, and we're going to do a big uh, burger cookout for them. But if you do any kind of, uh, you know, cause-driven type of event during the holidays, Bring some of your clients with you. Bring some of the people in your sphere of influence with you. Give. Not only does it allow them to see you giving back, but it gives them that opportunity to to give back. And again, kind of like Thanksgiving, create an open house type holiday event. You know, I, I know agents will do, you know, open up their home, have some eggnog, have some music, and just and, and just invite people. It's just your chance to thank people and stay connected. And um, and then going back to the turkey thing, um, I try to do this every year. It doesn't work out every year, but I always try to find a family or two uh, that, you know, it's going through some tough times. And my wife doesn't allow me to have a live fresh cut tree. Uh, so I love but I love the experience of going down to Home Depot, picking one up. But find a family or three. Yeah. Uh, that could just benefit, uh, you know, by having a Christmas tree delivered. Yeah, go play go Clark Griswold and go out into the woods and cut one down. Now, here's the thing uh, also with uh, holiday events. And, I, yes, I don't have a problem telling somebody I celebrate Christmas. However, you know, uh, there have been some changes, and I'm just going to throw this out there, uh, you know, to the National Association of Realtors Code of Ethics that changed in January of 2020. Um, there were some new uh, case interpretations that were added. And just to that particular point, we have to be, what's be what is called, uh, we have to be sensitive to the fact that other people may not celebrate the same things that we do, uh, even though we have the right to freedom of speech and freedom of religion. So those things being taken into consideration, uh, if you know somebody and you know somebody happens to be Jewish, there's nothing wrong with bringing bringing them their, uh, you know, type of food or, or their, uh, how they celebrate. Again, so, I'm collecting. You know, again, <laughs> yeah. But the thing, so <clears throat> just please be sensitive to that. You know, we are uh, all faith-based, and so from that perspective anyway, uh, and so do the right thing. I would just say make sure you know your demo. I mean, yeah, you might exactly. you might work with a lot of, of, of agents that do celebrate or people that do celebrate mm -hmm. Christmas. Maybe yeah. you do work with mostly a Jewish population. I mean, there's or a tremendous amount of individuals. Yeah, so know who you work with, and you should because you've built relationships with them, and pinpoint these events for them. A lot of agents, well, I would say some agents are going to do end-of-year celebrations. Do it early in the month. The, the later That's you really get in December, idea. the more stressed out everybody gets. Yeah. Get it out of the way. Uh, make it a fun event. And again, focus on those that do have an ROI for you. Mm -hmm. Yep, and the point of the matter is just uh, do something. Do and I something. should also point out, um, we have a great organization. Uh, the Rappaports have uh, an yes. organization yep. called HELP. Uh, and so in the middle of December, I think it's the December 14th and 15th, we get the opportunity to dress up as Santa Clauses and or elves, and we get to drive around the valley and drop off presents. So I did that last Definitely. year, and I'm going to do it again this year. And uh, Nick, I need an elf. I, knew, I was waiting yeah. for it. Like, you didn't look at me when you said elf, and I was surprised. Because I really need an elf. My wife's going to be out of town. I'm not. I'm one thousand percent not going to be your. There's, you know, there's so many things. You know, Mike, to the, to that particular point. You know, there's also the, uh, you know, they like in Peoria, they do that huge uh, side by side ride where they have hundreds yeah. and hundreds of side by sides that go. Uh, there's also the Harley Owners Group for motorcycle groups that do the uh, Christmas f for children and everybody brings gifts and they go to the major shelter and they donate the gifts there. It's just there's so many good things to do. Keep your eyes open. All right. Then the, the last thing is is historically December is a is a little bit of a slower month I, I I'm done predicting how real estate's gonna go these days yeah. um, and it shouldn't be a slower month because yeah. people are still looking for homes but for a lot of us we we do slow down and we lose track of our database we lose track of the people that we've been having conversations with and so uh, december is a great opportunity to do that and i would start planning it now uh, but simply use december go through your entire database and make a list of who you just can pick up the phone and say hey i just want to wish you happy holidays see what your plans are for the holidays 
Uh, I'm a firm believer it's okay. You can ask, you can call somebody on the phone and not ask for business all the time. Mm-hmm. This is just a great way just to check mm-hmm. in. But time block it now. Take a look at your December calendar and start time blocking and putting on your calendar a couple hours every day to go through that database. <laughs> Um, and then I'm not a big, um, you know, especially in something like this, I'm not going to leave, leave a lot of voicemails, mm-hmm. but use your phone, do a quick 30 second video text and send it to him. Hey, Nick, this Mike, just want to check in, see how you and Sean are doing. Happy holidays. Da 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 da. And then if you do get them on the phone and if you want to interject business, and this is how I interject business into these conversations in December, is it's a great time to start talking about the goals for the new year. And especially if you're talking with somebody that that is a business owner or whatever the case is, have conversations, ask them uh, what their their goals are for 2025. And in and, and, and most cases, that conversation is going to reciprocate and they're going to ask you, you know, what are some of your goals for 2025? And have an answer ready. You know, my goal is to put 40 new families into homes this year or whatever the case is and, and just put them on notice. Yeah, totally. I, you know, I think the thing here also is, you know, when you're calling people, think of it this way. Hi, you know, I know I haven't talked to you all year. Uh, maybe not for two years, but hi, how you doing? Oh, it's Thanksgiving. Oh, I just want to say thank you. I'm really great. You know, you guys have been a great part of my business. I just want to thank so much. Or you come from contribution or however you're doing it. And then all of a sudden at the end of the conversation, you say something like, do you know anybody who wants to buy a house now or in the near future? You know, you just bastardizes that, bastardized that whole presentation of what you, you lost. It. it would be better to have that. They know you're a realtor if you're calling them because they're your past client. So it's not like you're a secret agent. But, you know, you could, you could have that conversation coming from your heart sincerely. Don't bring up anything to do with real estate or, you know, other than you're doing Thanksgiving and you're thanking them for their business. But if you're, if you're doing it during the seasonal, you know, the holiday, the Christmas period, after Thanksgiving, you know, the last thing you want to do is, is tie business to a contribution. Now, I'm not saying you can't call them a week later and say, you know what? Dang, it was really good to talk to you the other day. H- how are you? And get into a more detailed, deeper conversation. Talk about 2025. Because here's the thing. They're going to be meeting with more people, more friends, more family, more holiday mm-hmm. parties, more than any other time of the year. That's good point. That where they're now going to – it isn't about them. This is the big thing. You're not converting them to buy another house. What you're doing is you're having a conversation with them so that you're top of mind so that when somebody at one of those parties